mostly accurate, <laughs> well, from my vantage point. But I'm the do. What do I know? I don't know nothing. Well, I think before too long we'll have a female in the White House. Yes, we'll have a lady in the White House. I guess you could say it would be the first lady's president. But she will be the president. And what will you call the husband? The first guy? The first man? Well, let's just say that it's the year 20... 24 in the United States just elected the first woman from Alabama as president. Yeehaw! And a few days after the election, the president calls her father and says, So, Daddy, I assume you're coming to my inauguration. Oh, I don't think so. It's a 16-hour drive. Your mother isn't as young as she used to be, and my arthritis is acting up again. Don't worry, Daddy, I'll send Air Force One to pick you up. And a limousine will take you from the door of your house to the airport. Oh, I don't know. It'll be so fancy. What would your mother wear? Oh, Daddy, don't worry about that, the President-elect said. I'll make sure she has a wonderful gown custom-made by the best designers in Washington. Honey, Daddy complained, you know I can't eat those rich foods friends eat. And the president-elect responds, don't worry, daddy. The affair is going to be handled by the best caterer in Washington. I'll assure you your meals will be salt-free. I really want you to come. So daddy reluctantly agrees. And on January 20th of 2025, the first lady from Alabama is being sworn in as President of the United States. And in the front row sits the President's dad and mom. And dad leans over to the Supreme Court Justice sitting next to him and whispers, You see that woman over there with her hand on the Bible becoming President of the United States? And the Justice whispers back, Yes, I do. And daddy says proudly, her brother played football for the University of Alabama. I guess football rules, at least in the spring and the fall, summer too. What is parody? I don't know. Exploiting the complexities of war, it's always so unclear. Where do we stand? Where do we lay? Where to quit? When to stay? It's a challenging matter, peace and the excitement of the battle, the battles of war, battles that can't be taken back, the blood and the gore. It's gone on for thousands and tens of thousands of years. I might go crazy trying to figure it out. It's so difficult to comprehend. Really wants to know who really wants to know what the truth is about war and human nature. Nifty 91.50 WRPI Troy. The opinions expressed on this air show are not necessarily the opinions of the executive committee, the board of trustees, or the student union. Hanging out with the idiot emeritus, the hair man do seven to nine weekdays on WRPI Troy.